So after we receive your assessment videos, we will then make an individualized plan for you, which will upload it into the app. I'll be tailoring every element of your workout plan to your warm-up stretches, workout, cardio, and rest days. Now within the program, for those with previous training experience, great. And if you're new and no training experience before, that is also great. So first you wanna have a look at selecting the right weight. If you've trained before, you probably generally have a good idea what weights you lift. But for those that are new to training, you may need a little bit longer trial and error to see what weights are gonna fit you starting off. Now to pick the right weight for each exercise, in general, we're looking for a seven out of 10 difficulty level. Now this usually means the last two to three reps of each set are getting very hard. But if someone put a gun to your head, you could probably do two to three reps more. Come the last set, however, you're probably nearing failure. Now, when we lift a weight near failure, our body recovers, adapts, and then gets stronger. Now, what this means when it comes to fat loss is we need to make sure we're progressing in some form or fashion to make sure our body's continuously burning a lot of calories. If we lift the same weight and same reps over and over again, because our body got stronger, you're not gonna burn as much calories, which is where people go wrong a lot of the time. Now our progression each session doesn't need to be anything extraordinary. We just wanna aim to get a little bit better by increasing another rep each week or increasing the weight slightly. Any type of progression that shows we're lifting more weight or more reps than the week before. We wanna make sure the total amount of weight being lifted in those sets is getting a little bit more each week. For example, say we're on the chest press doing 10 kilos, three sets of 10. The next session you could either increase that weight for three sets of 10, so 11 or 12 kilo dumbbells, whatever your gym has, or simply use the 10 kilos, if that's too big of a jump, and try to get three sets of 11. Now for those starting new or continuing after a long layoff, you will have a little bit more muscle soreness than those who've been kept training. But don't worry, this will get easier as your body adapts. But you can also have comfort in knowing that when your body's actually sore, it's using energy to repair those muscles, so you're burning calories throughout the day. And on the side note, on the point of muscle soreness, no, you don't need to be sore for it to be an effective worker. That's just a myth. 